check for the finance, with the financing of the okay. whole movie. My apologies. Oh, that's okay. I always shut it off. It's okay. Presented by AT&T. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> is about a child actor that lives with his father who's uh, an ex-rodeo clown and uh, a felon and struggles with uh, alcoholism and uh, we kind of see over the years how he comes to terms with that relationship so it goes between two timelines where this is young Otis right here and Lucas Hedges who's not here and is on Broadway right now doing his duty as an actor but mm -hmm. is here in spirit plays the older Otis. Now Shia wrote the script um it's about his life, but would you, I mean, would you call us a biopic? To me, as a director, it was a lot more interesting than just a biopic because Shia plays his own father in the film. So there's uh, definitely, he wrote the script and it's based on his life. He wrote it while he was in rehab. The script, when I read it, had a certain urgency to it and a certain truth to it that uh, really resonated with me and kind of blew my mind. What was your first meeting with, with Shia like? Well, we met in the in the car park, and he was like, kind of just said hello and hi, and he was, you know, um, and then we started doing the scenes. And, I mean, immediately from the first line he said, I felt safe. Um, and obviously in this movie, there's a lot of, like, the character feels quite unsafe, and, <clears throat> It's weird because you have to feel safe to kind of really channel that feeling of unsafety. You know, I was very excited to, you know, even have the opportunity of being in something with an incredible actor like him. And I mean, me and him are now, you know, he's one of my best friends and he was just an honor and a pleasure to work with. He's telling a story that is important, not just to him for his own, uh, reputation or how he's perceived but it's it's a much bigger story than him and I think that I my hope is that a lot of children and a lot of people that grew up with addiction and with trauma will get to see this film because he has eaten his own pain in order to kind of create something that can heal a lot of people. I think as artists I think many of us are damaged and we have a need to express and and so oftentimes you know I think being a character actor I constantly look for things that are quite opposite of myself, so I can hide. So I, I have to, uh, there was so much, um, I just remember so much pride reading that first draft of that script, because, you know, here as artists, we, we want to express other people's stories and hide from our own story, and now he's doing just the opposite, and he's facing it. It takes uh, a lot of courage to do something like that. I mean, we all have our struggles, we all have setbacks, and it's how you deal with those things that make you who you are. And I think he's a tremendous human being. I'm a stand-up, so with stand-ups, it's about going to the, the depths of who you are and dealing with your monster and then telling that to a room full of strangers. And, and um, I rarely see that sometimes with, with actors because they like do characters and stuff, but this was him doing that version of, of what we do. So I was drawn to it and uh, excited about it. And Laura, if you could talk about your character, you play Dr. Moreno in the film. He's one of his counselors in rehab and encouraged him to write about himself, which is just to expose yourself to situations, memories that are triggering, uncomfortable, agitating. I read the script, I loved it. I felt really lucky to get the part and to be able to delve into this. It was just a, a really moving experience to be a part of this story and sort of a responsibility. Like everyone's got a big story to tell, um, but some, of, some stories can um, reach many people and have a big influence. And Alma, I read somewhere that you had a pretty sweet story to tell just in that um, Shia wrote you this letter and along with the check. Could you, could you tell that story? In 2011, I made uh, my first film, which was a documentary called Bombay Beach. Which is awesome, by the way. Thank you. And uh, Shia picked up the DVD at Amoeba Records randomly and saw it and then contacted me and we kind of uh, got in touch. And, and then uh, when I tried to do my second film, 
uh, Love True, I couldn't get the financing anywhere and was telling Shia and sending him a clip for the film. And on uh, New Year's Eve, uh, I got a letter in the mail and it just had um, basically a letter from him and, um, and a check for the finance. It was crazy, you know, it was just like kind of uh, such a generous act and he became the executive producer of the film. I directed it, um, it took four years to make and then we made this film, it took uh, 22 days to shoot it. <laughs> but uh, and it was a whole other beast. It was a pretty good team, I was really so happy yeah. that I got to do this and it's one of those projects that you just know that you're never gonna do anything like it. I think everybody felt that when we did it.